Hi there, welcome back. If you create fusion macros or templates in DaVinci Resolve, you will need a good text editor. And the Visual Studio Code is no doubt the best one. Visual Studio Code is a free code editor that runs on Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. It is lightweight but powerful. It comes with built-in support for many programming languages, including the Lua scripting language used by DaVinci Resolve Fusion. A macro setting file is basically a Lua table definition in plain text format. Once you start the Visual Studio code, open the template folder where the setting files are saved. Now you can use the navigation panel on the side to browse and open files for editing. If this is the first time using it for a Fusion setting file, you may find the language auto-detected is plain text. You will need to click on it and choose configure file association for setting in the menu. Select Lua from the language list. Once it's associated, it will automatically set the language mode to Lua when we open a macro setting file. Without going into too much detail about how to use the Visual Studio Code, I will just quickly highlight a few features I use the most while working on Fusion setting files. The first one is the Minimap. It gives you a high-level overview of the file, and you can click or drag to quickly navigate to different sections of the file. If you don't see it, you can right-click the scroll bar and re-enable it or go to the View menu and turn it on in the Appearance submenu. The next feature is the Timeline view, which is like a version history. Every time when the file is saved, a new version is created. And you can easily compare the differences between versions. Simply click on a previous version, it will compare that version with the latest saved version or you can choose one version as Select for Compare. Right-click another version and choose Compared with Selected. The third feature is the side-by-side -side editing. A setting file for a complex fusion composition can get very big, like the one you are seeing here. When I work on the parameters, I need to check the actual node definition for reference. Click this little split editor button to split the editing window horizontally. Or hold the Alt key while clicking the button to split vertically. One more feature I want to mention here is the auto completion. When you start typing in the editor, it pops up the list of possible words for selection which is very handy when I need to add a new parameter from a node. Instead of typing the full name, I can simply pick from the list. For example, I want to add this user control from the options node as a parameter. There are many other great editing features in Visual Studio Code, you can always go to the help menu and find the information you need such as online documentation. Editor Playground. Keyboard Shortcuts. And etc. All right, that's all for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.